are friends by Tracy Corduroy and Alison Edgson. Oogle Doogle woke up and peeped under the bed, just like he did every morning. He checked inside the cupboard, then underneath the rug. Phew, no scaries here, he smiled, and off he went for breakfast. Oogle Doogle ate a nice plate of blips, just like he did every morning. Then it was playtime, six minutes building and six neatly colouring in. Next, he went to check his blip plants, to water and dust them, like always. But just as he polished his very last leaf, crunch, the blip leaves gave a twitch and suddenly... Boo! cried a scary mungy thing with a mouthful of blips. It blew Oogle Doogle a big wet kiss. Then, boo! cried the boogle again. Ah! yelled Oogle Doogle. A scary! I knew it! The scaries are here! And he dashed into the house to hide. But the boogle followed too. Boo! Ah! cried Oogle Doogle, folding himself up small. But the boogle liked this folding game, so he folded, flipped and rolled all the way across the floor. Boo! 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 he chuckled. Then Oogle Doogle began to smile too. And his smile grew bigger and bigger. You're not as scary, he giggled at last. So he let the boogle stay. The next few days passed happily. Oogle Doogle taught the boogle new things like how to eat blips neatly and how to make nice pretty pictures. The boogle taught Oogle Doogle things too, like how to water the garden super fast. As time went on, they made up fun new games to play together. Quiet, careful cooking games and racing, chasing, shouty games. But one day, the boogle raced out of the gate. No, gasped Oogle Doogle. He never ever went out there. What if there were scaries? But he couldn't let anything happen to his friend. So nervously, he followed. To his surprise, the world outside the gate was beautiful. He found the boogle jumping over big bloopies. Be careful, Oogle Doogle cried. But it did look really fun, so he decided to be brave and have a try. The boogle gave him a good luck hug, followed by a good luck prod. Then finally, boing! Oogle Doogle had done it, and he was so good at jumping. He cried excitedly, I'm flying! Then, as he got braver, Oogle Doogle boinged with the boogle too. Boing! Up they went and down they went. Doing! Whee! Higher and higher and higher until. Whoosh! The boogle shot off Oogle Doogle's back and flew into space. Oh no! cried Oogle Doogle. Come back! But his friend had gone and Oogle Doogle was all alone once more. That night he lay under the stars, high on a hill to be closer to the boogle. Boo, he sighed. Night, night, little boogle. I miss you. Then all at once he heard it, echoing down through the sky. Boo! It was the boogle. He wasn't lost after all. He had landed safely on a star. Don't worry, cried Oogle Doogle. I'm coming to get you. With that he boinged with all his heart all the way up to the stars. And the boogle gave him a great big boogly kiss. From then on, Oogle Doogle wasn't scared of anything, for he and the little boogle looked after each other. And if you look up on a twinkly night, you just might see them both. Boinging about from star to star, exploring the universe, together. Thank you for listening, and if you enjoyed it, Please like and subscribe and come join us for more stories.